This morning, North Korea launched a ballistic missile into the East Sea in an apparent show of defiance ahead of joint military drills by South Korea and the United States. After the launch, Seoul held an emergency meeting in which officials pledged to prepare for any further provocations by strengthening ties with the U.S. Lee Dae-hyun has the latest. Early Sunday, North Korea fired a ballistic missile into the East Sea. According to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, it was a single, short-range ballistic missile fired from an area on the west coast near Taechan County, Pyongyangbuk-do province, just before 7 a.m. It's the first such launch since the regime fired eight short-range ballistic missiles in one day on June 5th, which prompted the U.S. to call for more sanctions against the regime for violating U.N. Security Council resolutions. North Korea's missile launch is a serious provocation that threatens peace and stability, not only on the Korean peninsula, but globally. This is a violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions, and we urge the North to stop raising tensions. South Korea's military said the missile flew around 600 kilometers at an altitude of some 60 kilometers and at a speed of Mach 5. Meanwhile, Japan's defense minister Yasukazu Hamada said the missile is estimated to have reached a maximum altitude of 50 kilometers and may have flown on an irregular trajectory. South Korea held an emergency meeting Sunday morning of the Standing Committee of the National Security Council, where officials reiterated that the launch cannot be justified in any way. The meeting included the ministers of foreign affairs and defense who highlighted that they will be preparing for any further provocations by strengthening military cooperation with the U.S. The launch follows the arrival in South Korea of the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan, which will be taking part in joint drills and comes ahead of a visit to Seoul this week by U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. The Ronald Reagan arrived in the port city of Busan on Friday for the first time in about four years. Meanwhile, a South Korean military official says there could be additional launches by the North because Seoul earlier detected signs that Pyongyang may be preparing to test a submarine-launched ballistic missile. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.